Welcome. In this video, we're going to be looking at titrations. Now, we have to know this equation. Number of moles is equal to concentration times volume over a thousand. Concentration is always given in moles per decimeters cubed, and volume is given in centimeters cubed. However, we can also use number of moles is equal to concentration times volume if it's given to you in decimeters cubed. Okay, let's look at a question together. So in this question, we have to work out the volume of hydrochloric acid. Now, the first thing you want to do is identify the two main reactants. One of them is hydrochloric acid and the other one is sodium hydroxide. Okay, we're going to make a table writing moles, concentration and volume down the side. Then we're going to write down hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. These were the two main reactants that we identified earlier. Okay, then we're going to read the question and write down whatever information we've been given. So we've been given the concentration of sodium hydroxide and the volume of sodium hydroxide. And we've also been given the concentration of hydrochloric acid. And we want to work out the volume of hydrochloric acid. Now, here's a rule. To find something out, you have to know the other two. For example, if you want to work out the volume of hydrochloric acid, that means you have to know concentration and moles. Since we don't know moles of hydrochloric acid, we can't use that method. So whose moles can we work out? We can work out sodium hydroxide's moles and then compare that with hydrochloric acid. So let's start by working out the moles of sodium hydroxide. So we're going to use the formula number of moles equals concentration times volume. Because the volume's been given to us in centimeters cubed, we're going to divide it by a thousand. So that gives us 1.2 times 20 over a thousand. And that gives us 0.024 moles. So now that we have the moles of sodium hydroxide, we can see that the equation is a one to one ratio, meaning that the moles of hydrochloric acid will be the same. Now that we know moles and concentration, we can work out the third volume. So we're going to take our equation and rearrange it to make volume the subject. This gives us 1000 times moles over concentration equals volume. Now all we have to do is plug in the values from the table. So 1000 times 0.024 over 0.5 gives us a final answer of 48. And that is the volume of hydrochloric acid. Let's try another question. So again, the first step is to work out the two main reactants, and that is sodium hydroxide and sulfuric acid. Make sure that the equation is balanced. So here we have to put a two in front of sodium hydroxide and water. Next, we're going to have our table ready. And the question says, find the concentration of sodium hydroxide. Okay, so sulfuric acid and sodium hydroxide go on the table because they are the two main reactants we identified. Then read the question and write down whatever information you've been given. So we've been given the concentration and volume of sulfuric acid and the volume of sodium hydroxide. The question says, find the concentration of sodium hydroxide. To work out the concentration of sodium hydroxide, we also need to know moles. So what we can do is first, let's work out moles of sulfuric acid. To work out moles, we're going to do concentration times volume over a thousand. That gives us 0 0.0015. Now, you can see that the ratio of sulfuric acid to sodium hydroxide is a one to two ratio, meaning that we have to double our moles. So that means the moles of sodium hydroxide will be 0 0.003. Now we can use our equation to find concentration, we're going to rearrange it. That gives us a thousand times moles over volume equals concentration. Then plug in the values from your table and the final answer should be 0 0.15 decimeters cubed. So you managed to work out the concentration of sodium hydroxide. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com, where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.